Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. I'm sat in a lorry. Next to me is another lorry, and we're gonna have a drag race. Fortunately, I don't know much about lorries. I've never driven one, and I don't really know what I'm sat in. However, the guy who owns the lorries is there. He's gonna start the race. His name's Daniel, and he's got a YouTube channel called Asheville, and you can follow it by clicking on the pop-out banner up there to find out more about him and what he does. I'd have to speak to him to find out what this is and how the bloody hell I drive it. Daniel? Can you tell me about this, lorry? What is it? So today, you are in a brand new mirrorless Actros. Now this is a six by two tractor unit from Mercedes. And what engine has it got and what horsepower has it got? That's the kind of stuff I'm interested in. So it's a 10.7 litre engine and you've got 480 horsepower. Oh, quite a lot. Has it got a automatic gearbox? It's a 12 speed auto. All you have to do is put your foot down. I'm presuming there's no launch control. Uh, there's a stereo. It actually seems quite car-like. I've got an infotainment system there, I've got a digital driver's display, and I think when I turn it on, we've got some digital mirrors. In fact, I'm going to turn it on, because you start it a bit like a Mercedes car. It's just got like a start button, which is unusual for a lorry. Oh, wow, that digital driver's display is immense. And the mirrors are really cool. No excuse for running over cyclists then. I'm going to try and move my seat. My seat's just dropped down, now it's rising up. What's going on with this seat? It's a bit odd. Right, don't panic, your seat has got air suspension in it. So that's for if you go off-road or you go into a landfill or you go anywhere like that and it's bumpy, it takes all the shock out of the seat. So relax, it's normal. That's this lorry dealt with. What about that lorry? Who's in that? Oh, I know who's in that. Hello, Yanni. Hi, Matthew. Today, I'm gonna to be a truck driver. It is very weird being in here, I'm not gonna lie, but it's very comfortable. And look, you can move the cabin as well. Are you just making that sway with your body? Wait. <sighs> Yawn. Mine, is, oh yeah, I'm making it sway as well. <laughs> it's funny, I'm getting seasick. It's um, very interesting. Obviously this belongs to my friend, Daniel. It's branded, you know I say brand everything. So it's Asheville everywhere and it's black and it looks nice. And I heard you say about your cameras and your mirrors. I've got mirrors and I've got no start button. Daniel, tell me. What am I driving, please? You are in a Scania R500 6x2 tractor unit. That's a 13 litre engine with 500 horsepower. Wait, 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 wait. He's got more litres and he's got more horsepower. I did say this to Mercedes when they gave me the demonstrator, but they said, don't worry, we'll wipe the floor with it. It's a much better engine. All right, well, we will find out. Next thing is though, how do we drive them? I've never driven one before. Have you, Yanni? No, I don't even know how to start mine. Is it literally just turn the key? Because obviously there's no start button. I've got a clutch. Have you got a clutch on your side? Has he got a clutch? No, it's actually called a clutch on demand. If he was stuck in the landfill or the lorry was stuck, he could call on the clutch if he needed it. What do you mean call on the clutch? Like high clutch, can you help me out? Can he just drive it automatic? Yeah, it's a 12 speed gearbox. All he needs to do is just put his foot down. I don't need a license to drive this. On the roads, you need a license to drive it, but we're not on the roads, are we? How long does it normally take to learn to drive one of these things? It took me about three months to learn to drive a rigid, and then it took me about another two months to learn to drive this, because this is detached from a trailer. Okay, so basically me and Yanni have had no experience in this, yet we're gonna drive them as fast as we dare. We shall see what happens. Shall we just get on with this race then? You ready? I'm ready, can I start my truck now? Yanni, put your foot on the brake, and just turn the key and we should be good to go. Oh, uh, hello, hello. And you said, don't touch the clutch. And how do I put it into drive? What's this here? Neutral A. What's this A4 stuff? Besides from paper. Oh wait, wait, right. before we do this. Let's have a sound check. I'm gonna rev mine up. Oh yeah. I bet yours sounds very similar, Yanni, but let's find out. Right, that's the sound check done. Let's race. So I go into drive. Just hold it on the brake, then accelerate, or do I just accelerate? Put your foot on the brake and put it in gear. Yeah, and then I just off the brake with the same foot, accelerate. Make sure that your handbrake isn't on. If the red light is on, that means your handbrake's on. My handbrake is off. Okay, so my handbrake's off, but when I turn this, Daniel, it goes 4A if I and then I can't get a D. <laughs> hey, I can't get a D. 4A, A is automatic. Okay, so it says 4A. Mine's saying A and two. Is that second gear? That means your automatic gearbox has selected second gear. I'll let it decide, that's fine. Let's just get on with this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is mine saying fourth gear? I want to be A2. It is what it is. 
we don't know how to drive these things. You're going to have to let the computers decide what to do and just accept it. OK. You've never driven it. It might be fine. Let's just find out. We can always have another go. Shall we start this bloody race? I'm getting bored here. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm ready. Oh My horn wins. Mine sounds like a ship. Mine sounds like uh, something louder than a ship. So that's one nil to me. <laughs> All right, and let, let's do this race now then. Let's do it. Before we do though, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. That way you won't miss any of these weird videos. Let's get on with this race. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow your one-stop car buying comparison site. It's going to be quite slow. No more than 56 miles an hour due to laws. Three, two, one. Come on! Come on! <laughs> What's going on? Is that the gear change? Mate, your fourth gear was way better than mine. The gear change is so slow. So much of the Mercedes being quicker. This is rubbish. I'm doing 54 miles an hour. Ha ha. Whoa. Ooh. Well, the braking's weird. I want another drag race, this is too slow. Okay, that's 1-0 to me and Scania. Daniel, I just pressed the button and it says power. You didn't tell me about the power button. Daniel, Daniel. I wanted power mode, why don't you tell me about power? You're in power mode now, are you not? I wasn't before, you never told me about power mode. I thought you knew. I've never been in one before. Right, we're doing this again, I wasn't in power mode. This is a setup. right, let's go again. OK then, Yoni, I think I might beat you now because of power mode, which I wasn't told about. Let's find out. Three, two, one. Come on! Come on, come on! Come on! Yes! Oh, come on! Mercedes! <laughs> I'm accelerating and I think I'm coming past him now and then it changes gear and there's this like delay of about five seconds in between gears. Your truck goes 56 miles an hour, mine actually only goes 55 and I was at 55 so a bit longer you probably catch me but obviously a bit longer in like another week or so. So then what exactly happened? Well the Scania 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 did the standing quarter mile in 24.7 seconds narrowly beating the Mercedes, which took 24.8 seconds. Let's try something else because it's not just about acceleration, it's about pulling power. Oh really? I did see two massive trailers <laughs> parked up. Tell me we're going to load it. Let's load it. We've now got the trailers attached to them, which will have added weight. I don't know how much, let's find out from the man who will know. Daniel, how heavy are these things now with the trailers? So Matt, you are now fully loaded at 44 tonne. And I know that because I put this over the Asheville Way Bridge last night. So both of these trucks... With the trailers, 44 tonne, so it's even Stevens. Absolutely even, 44 tonne. And because you love to mention ballast so much, I put ballast in the back of both of them. So I just put it in drive again. I'm making sure I've got power mode on and the gearbox will figure out what's the best gear. Now it's got a trailer on it. So the gearbox knows exactly how much you weigh now, so it will select the correct gear and it will move through the gears differently now. Are you all good to go, Yanni? Yes, I've put mine in drive and now it's A1. So previously without the back, it was A4. So now it's like, yep, yeah, you've got a big load, A1. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to go, ooh, a big load. My load isn't as big as yours. Because it's only selected second gear. I'm ready to do this. Three. Let's get trucking. 
<laughs> Come on! Go, 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 go! Wow, let me see the gear change. Okay. <laughs> this is our fourth. I'm getting thrashed. Fifth. There's 12 gears. Ah, oh, Mercedes. Okay, this is slow. Where is he? Longest drag race ever. I'm doing 25 miles an hour. I hate to say this, but it's blooming Scania or Scania or Scania or whatever for the win. Come on, come on, I'm killing him. Oh, mate. I could climb in the back and have a sleep while this is going on. Well done, you one. We've got a problem now. We need to turn them around. You do it up ahead and I'll try and do it here. Okay, go wide, yeah? And don't take it too fast. Let's be careful. Well, thanks for that bit of advice, Yanni. I was about to try and do a handbrake turn. Mate, I'm actually enjoying this. It's actually very cool. I do feel sick. I don't feel sick. So that's um, one win, I guess, to the Mercedes, the non-nausea test. So then what exactly happened this time? Well, with a full load, the Scania 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 did the standing quarter mile in 35.4 seconds and the Mercedes took 38.3 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 20 miles an hour, automatic mode because they're automatic. Try and get level as best as you can. I'm not going to badger you about it because it's going to be quite difficult. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Come on, floor it, kick down, seventh gear. Yes, come on, come on! I'm just getting absolutely thrashed at everything. He's getting his goods to depot first. Right, I'm pulling it back. I'm pulling it back, Annie. Yeah, Check this out, I'm pulling it back. Oh, oh no! At real speed. When you're on the motorway, this is what happens to your Scania, Scania, Scania thing. I thought we were turning round. I actually forgot. It's a rolling race. You're going to see that I come totally off the accelerator. Right, I'll let you get level again. Come on, get level. Slow down, slow down. We'll try it again. 30. You ready? I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this is a bit better when you're going quicker. Yeah, I've got the edge on you. You definitely have, that's just quicker. Yeah, I think so. I think it's slightly quicker. The brake test is going to be fun though. I assume we're not doing the brake test from 70 as none of these can go to 70. 40? Don't bottle it and say 30, come on, mate. Well, if you're being like that, let's say 50. Come on, let's just get up to 50. <laughs> mate, I'm coming, you just gotta wait. <laughs> come on, hurry up, get level. I've got my foot to the floor and I'm doing 40, 41, 42. Once we reach the line, full emergency stop, I have no idea what's going to happen. We might spill our loads everywhere. Hopefully we won't jackknife. Hello, you are right? Mate, this is going to be no joke. 50 mile an hour and 44 tonnes. I'm not holding my mic. I'm letting this go. Yeah, good idea. Here comes the line. I didn't hit it properly. <laughs> Smoke everywhere. I'll be honest, I didn't do a full emergency stop. I hit the brake and didn't realise there was more to go down. You won that. I definitely did. This thing stopped super, super quick. One thing I noticed, no indicators flashing. You're right now, hazard lights, like you get on cars. You just put it on anyway, all right. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. It was the Scania, Scania, Scania winning all the acceleration stuff. 
And the Mercedes pulled one back with the brake test, though Yanni claims it was because he didn't brake properly, but I don't believe him. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know some other unusual drag races we could do in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Actually, I think I should have probably been wearing this when I did the brake test, just as a safety precaution. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm all good now. See you next time. Yanni, Yan, come here a minute. He's getting out. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get out of here now without falling. <laughs> Is that how you do it? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I didn't see a problem well, with that. Do you know that. what? I feel, you know what? I feel like the strength, strength there. Look. Yeah. Yeah. What I do? Look at that. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> I think That's I did a good job.